we are back with another video we are back with yet another food review video diasha is here and we're still in new orleans and today we are trying the famous willie mays when i told people i was coming to new orleans at least three or four people told me i had to try it they say they have some good soul food and y'all know i love some good soul food so let's hop right into the video So we have the goods. You guys would have already seen pictures of it. I got, let me put this, oh we got, I like these crystal hot sauce packets they have. I like that, I'm put this in the back. Yeah, I'm gonna put that in the back. Ooh. So, we wanted to go to the Willie Mae Scott house, but it closed at three. Um, I still have a little more time in New Orleans. If I get time, I'll stop by. If not, it is what it is. At least I got to try it. We came to Willie Mays at the market, which is inside a little food area. It was about 0.23 miles from our hotel, so it's right here near Bourbon Street. And I got three fried wings, red beans and rice, and mac and cheese and i also got me a sprite in the bottle from a local little shop that was right near willie mays and i also got me some water because you need a lot of water in new orleans so i want oh let me put this back Ooh. now everybody been boosting this up Ooh, look how big it is. Ooh, that's a lot. This is the red beans and rice. This thing is huge. It's hot and fresh. So we went in and we placed our order around 250. No, 259 is when we placed our order and we got our food maybe 10 minutes ago about 10 minutes ago so it took us about 30 40 minutes to get our food Ooh. this is hot 
Hmm. So I see onions. I see. It's spicy. Bell it's spicy. It smells spicy. It does smell spicy. That's all those Creole seasonings. So I see onions. I see bell peppers. I see the bread beans, and I see the rice. This is a huge portion. Ooh, it's a lot of rice too. I see bay leaves. I don't know what this is. Let me show y'all. It dropped in there, but I'm not sure. I see celery. Mmm, it's giving like a soup vibe. Okay make sure it's all mixed when i knew i was coming to new orleans i knew i had to get me some red beans and rice i do want to try some gumbo as well i tried a little bit at barrows and it was pretty good but i want to try like a nice hearty gumbo and rice Ugh. but until then i'm going to try this red beans and rice let me get me oh it's hot and fresh okay Ooh. Blow, 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 blow. I don't want it to be too hot. Mmm. Mm. It is spicy. Woo. I taste that Creole seasoning. Woo. It is very flavorful. I can definitely taste the onion and bell pepper and how it enhanced the. Ooh, that's so good. Hmm. Hmm. This is good. Now I know Nola Baby is known for its red beans and rice. And this one is pretty good. It's, you can taste the herbs in it. The rice is cooked to perfection. It's not mushy, but it's also not hard and grainy. You know how it tastes if you don't finish your rice. It just tastes like, ugh. This is cooked to perfection. And I thought, since it is in the, um, the beans, the beans is more like a soup, so I thought that it would kind of overcook the rice. But that is not the case at all. This is very tasty. Let me get another bite. I'm glad I got a big cup of this. Oh, and it has bay leaves in it. Celery, I told you guys that. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. It is spicy though. Got my Sprite. I wanted to try an old school Sprite. I think the difference is the um, regular Sprite is made with like liquid sugar and this one is made with um, cane sugar. So you could taste the sweetness a lot more. Whew. Okay, and then I have the fried chicken. Let me make sure I don't drop anything. Mama is not here. Unfortunately, mom had to work, but she said, don't worry about me. <laughs> I gotta work, you go film these videos and I'll catch you on the flip side. But she will be coming to New Orleans in the next vlog. Y'all will see mama, it's okay. <laughs> so, let me try the chicken. Ooh. Ooh, y'all see the crumb, she will be losing it. So what I did notice off the bat, the breading doesn't stick to the chicken. As you guys will see, it kinda comes off of it a little bit. See that? 
but maybe that's the maybe that's the secret to their chicken and get me a nice hearty piece mm, can y'all see that yeah yeah i can I'm trying to get all my bones out Ooh, it's hot and fresh okay Ooh, the bone breaking in it okay i got all the bones out Let me try it. Hmm. So, that puffiness that I was talking about, how the breading doesn't stick to the chicken, it gives it a unique taste. It's not bad. Mm, I got a bone in my mouth. That's a little piece that broke off. But it gives it like a puffy taste. And it has a slight sweetness to it as well. Hmm. This is definitely different. I've never had... What does it remind me of? Mmm. -hmm. Take another piece. Mm -hmm. Oh, it got a spice to it too. But... It kind of gives me like a funnel cake consistency. And it has like a slight sweetness to it, but not too much. I've never had any fried chicken like that in my life. Okay, Willie Mays. Ooh, it's kind of spicy. Y'all, in this Creole seasoning. <laughs> Now y'all know I'm a wimp. I don't told y'all this a thousand times. I'm a wimp when it comes to spice. I don't know if that's the spiciness for the red beans or the chicken. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Whew. But the chicken is good. I don't know. It's it's an acquired taste. It's something I will have to get used to. I've never had the chicken. Most times when I have chicken, it's um the breading is stuck, stuck to the chicken, but this time the breading is like flaky and fluffy which isn't bad but it's something to get used to and i also got also got me some mac and cheese i couldn't come to a soul food spot and not get the mac and cheese so you, you need more spoons yeah i think it's just one Cause remember they gave you your food separate. Yeah, and I got a, I got one. You didn't get one. Oh, <laughs> it's okay. I'm sorry. It's okay. You just spoon. No, I'm gonna go get another. Okay. All right, y'all. Spoon fiasco is over. <laughs> My friend actually got a spoon, and I didn't, and I used a spoon on accident. Oops. But she didn't mind going to get another one because I am filming for you guys. But let's get into this mac and cheese. Y'all see it? Okay. Okay, so the mac and cheese isn't as big as the red beans and rice. Oh, that's so good. I'm loving that. But I couldn't go to a soul food spot and not get some red beans and rice. I could not. I could not. So let me, I got a nice big hearty spoonful. Okay. Mm. Okay, so I taste the creaminess. They definitely used eggs. So this isn't a baked mac and cheese. You could, it tastes like right before well, it, it could be baked, but it tastes like right before you put the mac and cheese in the oven. That's exactly what it tastes like. I see like some oils floating around in here. I think that's the excess butter and it's not sticking to, it must be some butter and er, um, oil in here 
that's making it not um, stick to the container. Mm. It has like a gritty taste to it. Y'all know, y'all always say you can't compare, but this does not compare to What's ten dollar? We in downtown. They say this is a good area. What is going on? I hope everybody is okay. But I always say you cannot compare these mac and cheese to my grandma's. And I said what I said. I stand on it because it does not compare. You cannot compare where you can't compete. Okay. And it also isn't touching trick daddies either. So. Just saying, maybe you know the south, the south, the dirty south, the bottom got some different going on in their seasonings, but it don't touch it. But this this red beans and rice, I must say, I will come back to Willie Mays just to get me a cup of this. I also wanted to get some bread pudding, but they didn't have any. I always eat bread pudding with my own, um, my parents, my mom, and my dad will always buy it from this local grocery store outside someone always sold some so that's why i always had bread pudding and i thought about them and said let me try it but they didn't have any but i do want me some good bread pudding i heard that they're good for bread pudding and beignets and i haven't had eat right, y'all adriana got cornbread and she wanted me to try some so i said let me put the camera up and try for y'all it's that sweet you know like sugar and milk mm -hmm. <laughs> remember in college i used to always make it for you Oh, you used to be like, can you make me some cornbread? I'm like, out of all things, that's what you want me to make? Yeah. It's not super sweet, it's but. Right. It's just more buttery. Yeah. Than it's a good, it's a good cornbread. Yeah. But it's just not sweet. I don't eat like it yet. But I like my cornbread sweet. Me too. Mm -hmm. How the red beans rice? I like it. The chicken tender is pretty good too. It's just the batter. Cause the chicken tender got a lot of flavor on it. Okay. Mm -mm. I'm full. <laughs> I am full, y'all. Doing all these videos, I had to eat a little bit here, a little bit here, a little bit there because I get full quick. Stir it up then. Mm, my mama would love this stuff. She like red beans and rice? We, that's what we made. Like, it's really, no, not like this. You know, like the Caribbean side. Mm -hmm. This side. And they come back with the OG. You know, mm. my grandma used to make like lima beans and rice. That's the black style. <laughs> the black American style of red beans and rice. So, with all that said, let's jump right into the rating. For customer service, I would give them a 10 out of 10. They were very nice. There was a, um, a young man who greeted us who was very um, nice, and he answered all our questions about the menu, and he was very informative of what Willie Mays had to offer. So customer service, I give them a 10 out of 10. For portion, they get a 10 out of 10 because this is a big old cup of red beans and rice, in my opinion. That's a big old cup and then for price i think i spent about oh here's my receipt right here i spent 16 dollars and 53 cent oh excuse me the wings meal excuse me i got three wing meal that was 11 dollars, and it came with the red beans and rice and i also got the mac and cheese and that cup was four dollars which brought my total to $16.53. I think that's pretty good. So I would give them um, a nine out of 10 for price. And then for taste, I would give them an eight because that chicken with the fluffy bladder batter is something I have to get used to, but you could tell that the actual chicken has a lot of seasoning on it and it was hot and fresh. So that did contribute to it being good as well. So I would give it an eight. And then for presentation, mm, they get a um, 
a seven because it's nothing outrageous. It just came in this white box and then it came with the it came with the the paper on the inside but these are some nice containers y'all know i live for me a good container if the container good enough i'll wash it on that and take it back home with me and use it for some some lunch containers so, for overall grading, I would give Willie Mays a, I would give it an eight out of 10. It is something you should try for yourself. They have a lot of locations. Like I told you guys, I did wanna try the Scott House location because I'm sure they had everything plus more. was just as good you can tell they have their recipes written down and down to a T so with all of that being said that's gonna be the end of this video let me know if you guys have been enjoying the New Orleans era <laughs> I've been posting a lot of videos in New Orleans let me know if you guys are enjoying them and let me know where you want me to go next as you guys see by now you guys will see we are all over the world. Diasha Worldwide. You hear me? <laughs> I don't know why I say that. But make sure you like. And I know y'all watch these videos, but I need y'all to make sure you are smashing, smashing, smashing the subscribe button because we trying to grow. We want to go worldwide. We got to stay worldwide. So y'all got to make sure y'all are liking and commenting down below comment down below what soul food spot i should go to next uh oh not my last giving it to me there we go <laughs> make sure you smash the subscribe button i know i'm just going on a tangent with all that being said i will see you guys in another video bye